look especially these that are not that are not straight anymore you can see that this is an old chain and you really really need to starting to change it because now this chain is eating the sprockets the best practice is that you change the sprockets when you change the chain as well oh, get up get up smile adventure yeah you don't need to go far because you're already there what are we doing today well today we're gonna change the chain and the sprocket of the lady. Ta -da! It's already really old. I think 40,000 to 45,000 kilometers on the chain, so... First, we're gonna take down the cap of the front sprocket. We have to open this security plate. It's actually that one. Okay. And if you really take a look, it's on this side, on this side, and on this side. So it's fixing actually the nut. So that looks good. Next step is loosening the bolt of the front sprocket. Okay, how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna put in the first gear, try it. If it's not working, we're gonna do it with the first gear and the rear brake should be enough to create the force to open the bolt. Because it's always really tight. Yeah, it's really tight. I think it's the tightest bolt in the on the whole motorbike. Alright. That's really tight. Work? Yes. <laughs> Next step is breaking the chain with the Motion Pro chain tool. That one is our master link. How do you know? Because if you take a look at the connection pins here and here, they look different. And actually the chain tool works like this, that you just adjust the main bolt. The connection pin of the master link will be in between here. And then we're gonna crack the pin with the pressure pin of the chain tool. So you're pushing it out? Yeah, so we're pushing it out actually. Okay. So we're gonna do that. Then we're gonna put that one in there. So it's fixed. I think that one. Chain is down, so we take off the front sprocket, super easy. So I took the rear wheel off and now also took out the rear sprocket, it's really easy, you just pull out. So I'm gonna undo these nuts so I can take this part off with the um, bearing in there and put it on the new sprocket. All right, all the screws are out. Now I'm supposed to be able to take it off. Old sprocket was on like this. Oh, it's so shiny. Now you can really see the difference between the old and the new one. 
The old one is way fatter and higher. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they fit it. Cool. Yeah. Shiny? Well, not so. It's not really shiny anymore. <laughs> I made it dirty with my dirty fingers. Sprocket. Well, looks good. Not gonna tighten the bolt yet. We just put it on there. Well, and now, new chain. And now we put on the bolts to press the plate on to the chain connector and yeah to finally fix it. So at first we just screw them like with the hand until it's not possible anymore. Pressure from both sides. Yeah, that's better. So we tightened the bolts. So now we go to that point where we unscrew the bolts again and just check if it's in the right distance. Well, if we look now here at the distance, it really looks like figure one, so it looks like it is right. Yeah, let's focus on the chain, oh, there we go. Yeah. So, looks like one for me. Alright, so what's next? So, the next step is actually just to put the bolt back at the point of figure three. So just until here actually. Yeah, and then just snap off the pins.
last step. Then we're done. Well, you say we, but... was really good everything is working again lady runs super smooth it's really a pleasure now so I really hope the you like the video and it's gonna help you by changing your own chain on your motorcycle and if you like the video just give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what your experiences are from changing the chain on your motorcycle thank you guys so much for watching I will see you next time bye, bye. A big shout out to my Patreon supporters, you are amazing. If you want to be in the credits too, go check out my Patreon page.